Okay, another question of the day. So this is this is third one in a row now. So we've had um, after the the, the one uh, question of the day yesterday about being in your car and getting hot. There were quite a few questions on um, on UV. Does UV affect uh, affect the material? Um, short answer is yes, it does. However, there are um, things in place to protect it. So the paint that uh, the paint on the bike or a clear coat uh, lacquer um, will have UV uh, UV absorbers and stabilizers in it. So so that will protect the. Uh, the the, uh, the epoxy resin from uh, UV degradation. So the carbon obviously isn't really affected by the UV. It's 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 the resin that gets affected. So um, even the highest quality resins available um, will still will degrade. Like you can almost watch them um, break down in the sun. So within a, a week of direct sun exposure, unprotected. Um, they'll be they'll be breaking down and over time that will um, you know you'll have fibers becoming loose etc so um, so the paint is on um, on the bike to protect it from from the UV there was a question about uh, even welding so can I TIG weld in the same room I store my bikes um, so as long as the bikes are painted then uh, then you won't have a problem you do see some of the some of the wheels um, like uh, uh, I think zips are probably the most common where they're where they're not painted and and they'll go yellow over time and so you know they'll have a, a sort of a yellow tinge some of the resins too they can put UV stabilizers into the resins as well, but then that's an extra an extra step and an extra expense, and and so I'm not sure if the zips have got that uh, I've got that resin or not. Um, yeah, but the best way is to paint it, and that also seals uh, seals the surface and protects it from moisture ingression. So a good two pack automotive uh, urethane um, based paint will um, yeah will do the job nicely. So the um, the other, the other thing was I just touched on uh, was moisture ingression, and that's a topic for another day. So I did see a question on that as well, but I'll yeah, that's that's one for another day. So UV um, can damage can damage your bike. It um, it's normally with, with the paint it protects it. Now you get to, occasionally you get the weight weenies who will um, strip all the paint off their bike to save, you know, 50, 60, 80, 100 grams, whatever. Um, and they'll say, oh, we, you know, we can just put, um, you know, this, there's some wax coating on it to, to protect it from the UV. Um, you know, again, it does depend where you live. Here in Australia, we've got very, very strong UV. Um, we've, there's a hole in the ozone layer which protects us from UV, and that's right over southern Australia. So, you know, we we get fried here basically. Um, even paint on, uh, you know, the paint can break down. So you know, you see older bikes or older cars, etc., and and the paint is flaking off um, because it's been affected by the UV. So so UV is serious. You need to protect yourself uh, from it. Um, think of paint as being like sunscreen for for your resin, and um, yeah. So that's it for a uh, another question of the day. Um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.